Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video, C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss how to write a RabbitMQ application in C++ using Topic Exchange. As we know, RabbitMQ uses an exchange queue mechanism to publish, routine, and consuming the message. The exchange has a type, direct exchange type, fun out exchange type, and the topic exchange types. In previous video, we made an example how to write an application in direct exchange type and fun out exchange type. Today, we are going to focus on topic exchange type. Here on the Linux, we just create a program called the topic underscore publish dot cpp, which is going to use in topic exchange type to publish the message. Topic exchange. The topic exchange root message to one or many queues based on the match between a message routing key and the pythons that was used to binding a queue to an exchange. The topic routing key must be a list of words delimited by the period and the dot. And the routine Python may contain asterisk star to match a word in a specific position of the routine key. For example, the Python could be agreement dot star dot star dot b dot star. This Python means the match should be started with agreement. The second word will be anything. The third word will be anything. And the fourth word must be the B. And the fifth word could be anything. The usage of our example will be topic underscore publish. And the first argument will be the host and the part number. Second is the exchange name. The third is the topic or topic of Python. And the last one will be the queue name. Queue name is optional. If the queue name provided, it will be binding between this queue and the exchange and the topic or topic of Python. If queue name not provided, we're going to just publish a message to exchange name and the topic or topic of Python. So first of all, we have to create a connection string Connect string Python will be username, password, host, port number, and forward slash the vhost names. So we have in our environment, we have created a user called a test, password is a test, and this is the host and the port number, and our vhost called my underscore vhost. Our exchange name, which from command line, will be argument two. The topic or topic of Python from command line will be argument three. So we are going to use in the try and the catch typical classical C++ Python. First, we have instantialize and connect to our RabbitMQ message block. And type is MQP and we name is MQP and our connection string. After we instantialize our AMQP object, we have to instantialize our exchange object. And type is AMQP exchange and the pointer, we name it EX equal. Create exchange, the name of exchange, which is from the command line. And after we instantialize our exchange, we have to declare our change name is ex name and the type is the topic and uh, this exchange we can set up some parameter there's a few parameter we can set up in this demo video and we only pick up two of them which is auto delete and durable durability exchange survive block restart Auto delete exchange is deleted when last queue is unbounded from this exchange. There's a few other parameters we can set up, but we just using these two. We call it my parameter and we have ex set parameter method. Parameter is my. After we set up a parameter, 
We are going to set up the delivery model using set header. Delivery model has two options. There's a persistent and no persistent. So we just hard coding, set up a persistent model. Also the message, we can set up the attribute. The typical attribute will be content type or content encoding. Here, there's a typical attribute we can set up for the message, and uh, we just pick up two of them, and the rest of them depend on the, your application. You can set up routine key. This is a persistent or no persistent delivery model has to be set up. If the argument counting equal five, it means our queue name has been provided. When the queue name provided, we have to declare and binding our queue. So first, we get our so we get our queue name from argument four, which is from command line. When we declare our queue, the name is Q2. Using the create queue method, create our queue, which is a queue name we get from a command line. We declare our queue and we binding our queue with our exchange. First the parameter is the exchange name, exchange name from a command line, and the second parameter will be the key, which is our topic or topic of Python. After that, we are ready to write and publish our message. So we make a loop. So make, we make a loop. In each loop, first we promote, please input a message, and we get our message using get line. We from the STD, which is our console and the terminal, and the message we get into which is a string we call the message body and uh, if if our message body equal end we just uh, break end of loop and the end of a program if a message body is not end we're going to publish this using publish method and the published method, the first parameter is the message, which is our message body. And the second parameter, which is the key, which is a topic pattern, we get from a command line. And the finish publish. We clear our message body string, go back ready for next message. So now we just save our program. We also compile a read queue program. This read queue program, we explained it from the preview video. You can check our preview video. And this program just for reading message. Now programmer got compiled. We got our executable. Now let's go to other terminal, check our RabbitMQ status right now. So first we check our vhost. We have a my underscore vhost, and we check our users. We have a user called a test, and our user test the permission to access my vhost with all Python of message and the writing and the reading for all the queues. And there's no queue under our vhost, so now let's go back to another terminal. It's the first to create a queue. And the current, our host is 192.168.0.107. So the publisher program usage, the first is the host name, colon, part number, 5672. And the next argument will be exchange name, just call the TOP exchange, with topic exchange. And the third one is the topic Python. Let's assume our topic pattern will be the order and the destination will be the Canada dot and the province. 
Ontario and our Q, which is name is C A O N Q. And we create another topic which is called other dot US dot New York and Q will be the US and Y. This is the topic, the topic must be the word and delimited by the dot. So, so this other US dot New York or the other dot C dot Ontario. And also we can use the topic pattern. The pattern could be star. So we can see all the others, no matter which country or which province or state. And we just create a queue, which is called a other queue. So now we create three queue, which is the first C-A-O-N queue binded with topic order.c.ontario. And the USNY queue bounded with order.us.new York. And also there's the other queue which is bounded with the pattern which is order.star.star. Dot dot star. Let's check on our you can see we have created three queue with CA underscore Ontario queue, New York queue, and the other queue. Let's go back to our terminal to try to publish a message to this exchange and this topic, order.c.ontario. For this topic, and let's see, go to the other terminal to check our queue again. You can see our message has been published to the C Ontario queue and also been published to the other queue because the topic we are sending is match this topic, so it goes to this queue. Also, this topic pattern, so it also copy to this queue. Now let's publish a message to the New York queue. So the test is message for this topic. Let's go to other terminal to check our queue status again. You can see our New York queue got a message and also our other queue got two messages. So it means when we publish a message to this topic and this topic is match too. So message has been published to this queue and copied to this queue. So now let's read the message. First we read from Canadian Ontario queue. So this is text message for this topic. And if we read the message from this queue, you can see this topic has sent to this queue. And if we read the message from other queue, you can see the two message we send to the two topic, both copy to this other queue because we have a star in our Python. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Wish it is useful. It's going to be great to have your feedback.